Janet's case is a perplexing one. I don't think I've ever met a cat that you couldn't open its mouth. I'm quite nervous about this procedure because I know it's going to be a long and very tricky process. Let's get some oxygen in this cat. It's become an emergency situation. This cat is in danger and we need to do something fast. It's a different start to the day for Scott. He's on his way out of London after an SOS from a very busy cat rescue centre in East Sussex. Come on! Liz Knight and her team of helpers run the catastrophe sanctuary and currently they're looking after nearly 200 cats. I think it's probably from my childhood, if ever a stray cat turned up, you, you didn't pick up the phone and get someone to come and remove it. You, you gave it food, you looked out for it, that was it. <laughs> you just did something for the animal to save a life. With the growing number of strays in the UK, it's a never-ending challenge. I think I thought that with spaying and neutering, numbers were being controlled more, things would be improving. But the demand is just absolutely huge. The phone doesn't stop ringing. You could end up with a 1,000, I think, quite easily. Hello. Can we come and have your tea? And now, Liz wants Scott's That's help yours, with especially. a very special case. Come over Three-year-old Janet. Seeing Janet for the first time, I could see there, there was a, a big problem with, with the mouth, with, with her coat, that she obviously couldn't clean herself properly. Good girls, good girl, Janet. She sticks her tongue out and it's because she has a fused jaw. And I knew that this could be a real challenge. We, we might be able to help her, but it could go the other way. But whatever happened, we had to do the right thing for her so, so she wasn't suffering. When Scott arrives, even he's astounded at the size of the welcoming committee. Wow, the first image of this house straight away, there's a cat that was looking out the window and then turn around the corner and there is just so many beautiful felines just waiting to greet me. Hello, everyone. Hello. This is cat heaven, isn't it? Hi, Scott. Hi, Liz. <laughs> Hello. Uh, how are you? Fine. Welcome to Catastrophes. And I home love and it. Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this is a lot of cats. Yes. <laughs> So it started off with just looking after a few and then yes, rescuing a few. Yes, it kind of few. started with about one little young ginger cat that needed help. And right. then people get to yeah. know you and then it just goes on from there. Yeah. <laughs> so you take the cats that no one else wants. We tend to try to help cats that are perhaps more difficult to home. They're the ones that we try to help, the ones that have really got no chances left. Hello there. So which one of these beautiful felines is Janet? Right, uh, that's Ron Turner. Uh, this is Janet. Hello, Janet. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, I can see the tongue. I'm just going to have a fit. Wow, so that is it. That is literally as far as I can open it. Wow. Janet's a very lucky cat that she's found herself in the loving arms of Liz, but I can tell you what, this cat is still struggling. She can't open a mouth, so therefore she can't groom herself properly. She can't eat properly either. And within the mouth, I can see some really rotten teeth. How can anyone do a dental on yeah. a cat where you can't open a mouth? Mm. And any ideas as to how that might have happened? I don't know if you think she may have been born with this or if it's from you know, a road traffic accident where she's taken a, quite a bad knock and it hasn't been dealt with at all. That's what I feel. So the mandible, the actual lower jaw, feels all right. It's just when you get back into the joint. Oh, right. And that's where they're simply just not opening enough for her to open a mouth. And she tries to wash herself and keep herself clean, but she looks quite sort of mucky and discoloured around her front legs. You do, sweetie, don't you? You're constantly drooling. Hey? Hey? Yeah, let's have a look at you. Hey. Oh, boy. Janet's case is a perplexing one. I don't think I've ever met a cat that you couldn't open its mouth. So I don't understand what's caused it, nor do I know if I can fix it. She wants to live, but I think we've got to try and... Do something. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Scott will now organise for a three-dimensional scan to be taken of Janet to find out if anything can be done to fix the jaw. I think the first step is CT scan. Let's yeah. understand what's yeah. on the scan. OK. And then I would suggest that as long as you're quite brave... Absolutely. ...then we yes. may have to go through a surgery. Yeah. So. Now, if we can make her quality of life good, I think that's what it's all about. 
So at the moment, I have just as much concern and trepidation about this journey as Liz does, but together, we're gonna do our best for Janet. It's gonna be a long process. You ready for it? Yeah. Okay, Janet, here we are, Uncle Scott's. Liz from the Catastrophes Cat Sanctuary has now arrived at the Richmond practice with one of her very sad cases, Janet. Did you want to have a seat, Liz? Yes. Got me right with you. Okay, thank Bye. you. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl, Janet. CT scans have already been carried out, and Liz is about to find out whether anything can be done to fix the fused jaw. This is kind of the crucial stage, really. I think it's emotional now, because we, we've got to have a sensible conversation with Scott and, and go from there. But so she means a huge amount to all of us, yeah. She's wheedled her way into our hearts. <laughs> Do you want to see the 3D reconstruction? Oh, yes, I look at that. Meanwhile, Scott is reviewing Janet's CT scans with specialist oral surgeon Aurora Mateo. It's brilliant to have this level of experience because it is a major thing we're going to have to do on Janet today. Both hinges were broken and healed in wrong position. So basically her jaw at the moment is hitting her eye socket. Yeah. Wow. Scott and Aurora will need to perform drastic surgery and may have to remove both the hinges, also known as condyles, from Janet's jaw. It's her only hope for a normal life. Something must have happened long ago, of some kind of trauma, because both condyles uh, are broken and fused in a wrong position. Now her teeth are also infected and she's in pain now. So we remove a rusty hinge from her jaw. We hopefully sit open a little bit better. We clean her teeth and we give her a good life. Exactly. Good plan. It's going to be a hard surgery. I want to do it for her. I, I feel good that I'm here, but it's going to be talent. So you get prepped for surgery. All right. And I'll go and grab the lady of the hour. Okay. All right, one sec. Hello, Liz. Hello. How are you, gorgeous? I'm okay. How are you? I'm really well. Hello, Janet. <laughs> it's your big day today, isn't it? How are you? Mm, hello, gorgeous. Come on, then. Come and see Uncle Scott, that's a good girl. Right, so it's a hell of a CT scan, it really is. But what we think is that years ago, she <laughs> suffered quite a significant trauma, which meant that she had fractures on both sides of her jaw. Cracking. Yeah. And the body's tried to fix itself, but just not done a very good job. So mm. what we're going to try and do today is to just remove the hinge completely. The muscles and the ligaments and everything around the jaw will do the work of the hinge joint, but the hinge is not helping, so we need to get rid of it. I'm quite nervous about this procedure because I know it's gonna be a long and very tricky process. So we just need to work step by step and hope for the best. Give her a big kiss of good luck. Hey, brave girl. Mummy's with you, mummy loves you. You've got lipstick on you now, darling, haven't you? There, good girl, good girl. I'll see you soon, everybody loves you. So Aurora, this is your patient. Mm -hmm. This is Janet. And Nathan, if you just hold around the shoulders, let's just have a quick look at this mouth and you can see that's about the limit of being able to open it. At Richmond, oral surgeon Aurora Mateo is getting her first look at Janet's fused jaw. Really, really disgusting teeth, really sore gums. Nathan and Sam will be assisting with the surgery on the rescue cat. Also, we can see that alignment issue there. You can see those two canines butting up against each other, can't you? Mm -hmm. That's pretty shocking. This cat has struggled for a very long time with a mouth that she can barely open. She has teeth that lock together and also her tongue is very swollen, very sore because of years of hanging out. And that also is causing problems for her. We're gonna sort you out. Yes, we are. But before they can start work on Janet's jaw, Scott needs to get a breathing tube into the cat's mouth. God, just getting in there. Gosh, I can't see a thing. I might have to try and go blind and just see if I can get it. She's got a very thickened tongue, so that's almost making a speed bump. So trying to put a tube down there makes it one of the most difficult intubation processes that I've ever had to face. 
There's virtually okay. no movement in this jaw, so it's just about nice. getting no, the access. That, that, that's not going to fit. Yeah, that's literally as open as we can get it. Goodness me. But at last, there's a breakthrough. That's, that's in. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> get in. Okay. All right. OK, yeah. on to the guess. Surgeon Aurora can now start work on removing Janet's misaligned teeth. So yeah. let's go for it. But surgery is barely underway Scott. when Scott has more problems. I can't see a thing. Janet is just not getting enough oxygen through the breathing tube. So unfortunately, what's happened here is that the tube going down into Janet's throat has shifted and she's got so much saliva in the back of her throat we can't actually see. So what we need to do is perform what's called a tracheostomy, basically placing a hole through her windpipe and then down into her chest, which will allow her to breathe and also for us to maintain her anaesthetic. Let's get some oxygen in this cat. It's become an emergency situation. This cat is in danger and we need to do something fast. Can that um, light be on this angle coming down? OK, there we go. Yes. OK. Support that the whole time, Sam. Don't let that tube go, OK? So now, thankfully, we're in a position where we have an established airway, which wasn't the case before, which is uh, very nerve-wracking indeed, but now we have a tube down her throat uh, done this way rather than down her mouth, but actually that's allowing us to have a look at the mouth so much easier, and now we're actually going to remove the left canine. Aurora starts the procedure by trying to remove the teeth that seem to be locking or touching each other and causing the inability of Janet to open and close her mouth. We start removing one after another, after another, after another. Another healthy tooth. Yeah. Shame it has to come out, but it does. So that one needs to go as well. This really is a marathon. In all, we have to remove four teeth, the ones that were contacting each other and stopping Janet's jaw from closing. But now we have to try and help open it a bit more, which means tackling the fused hinges on either side of her jaw. See, the, the joint is right here. Yes. So we're going to go for it. The procedure to remove the jaw joint is called a condylectomy. Scott and Aurora are hoping removing the hinge to the jaw on the one side will be enough to free the jaw up. Come on, baby. But like everything with Janet's surgery, it's proving to be a real challenge. This is the up. I can't get it out. Yes. No more hinge. Well, on the right-hand side, anyway. Move it now. Let's try now. And it doesn't really help. We've done quite a lot of stuff with this cat and still she is confounding us because we really hoped we'd be able to open more there and we just simply can't. With Janet's jaw still not opening enough, the hinge on the left side will now have to be removed as well. Okay. Yeah, so that's the second condyle, so the hinge joint on the left-hand side, now removed. At last, the team are starting to get results. I am happy we can close her mouth more, that's good. And she can open her mouth much more, that's good. But not as much... Yeah, that's enough, that's enough. We were complaining too much, it's enough. Yeah. You are complaining too much, I think you've done very well. It's been an absolute Herculean effort by everyone involved today to get Janet through the surgery, but poor Janet, bless her, four hours of major surgery and certainly not very pretty surgery either. But she's come through it, the mouth is moving much more freely. It's certainly far from normal, but it's opening about twice as much as it did at the start of the surgery. Okay, and we're done. It has been a very difficult surgery, long and I'm knackered. Scott taught me that word. I'm really tired. We've definitely made some inroads, wouldn't you say? But hopefully it's the start of a new life, eh? Although the surgery is over, Janet's work is still yet to really start. We need to do a huge amount of physio on this poor girl. Yeah, that was a long one, wasn't it? Getting her to use this new jaw, get her to start flexing her muscles a little bit more, allowing for more flexibility in those joints, and getting her mouth open again. You deserve your bed tonight. Hmm? 
Janet will need to rest up and recover from the major surgery before she can be reunited with her carer Liz. It's been a really lovely thing to be part of helping Janet. It's been very stressful at times, and poor Janet's been through hell and back. But we're really hopeful that this poor cat can finally live a comfortable life where she can have her tongue in her mouth, she can swallow and chew, and just open her mouth normally like a normal cat. Let's hope. There you go. All right, good girl. It's so brave. Hi, hey. Janet. How are you? She's doing very well. Yeah? Yeah, eating biscuits this morning. No way. Yeah. You're eating biscuits. What a clever girl. Janet has bounced back from her marathon jaw surgery to the delight of Scott and Nurse Jess. Listen to you purring away. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> Janet has made a miraculous recovery. This cat is so brave and just so amazing. That surgery, in fairness, it was brutal. I'm gonna go home and see all those other cats. Yeah. All 200 of them. Hey. Janet's tongue is very obvious. It has changed in its anatomy. It's much thicker at the back. It's a little bit irritated at the front. But I'm hopeful that once she starts to be able to close her mouth, her tongue will go where it's supposed to be, which is back in there. It's great news for Janet Liz. So here's Janet from another planet. She can finally take oh, Janet home to her rescue Janet. cat sanctuary. Do you even recognise your mum? <laughs> you feel straight away she's purring. I think it's amazing that you've got <laughs> over 200 cats and she definitely <laughs> recognises you. I think she does, doesn't she? She does, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But Janet's rehabilitation is going to require some tough love. So I hope your relationship isn't going to um, suffer with uh, what I'm going to have to show you now, which is the physio. Okay. All right. This will definitely be a two-person job. Yes. So Jess, as you can see, is holding from the back there, and then the person at the front, all you want to do is just open and close this mouth. So relatively gently at the start, and then just a little bit of pressure once you get to the full open point. Okay. And then closing. So pop the tongue back in, and then close the mouth, all right? And then just a little bit of a nice face massage. All right. You know, around those jaw muscles um, and just breaking down any any attachments and and just basically giving a bit of fuss and love. Hey, baby. Hey. Yes. Well, my little inspiration, it's time for you to get back to all those feline mates of yours. Hey? All right. Hey, let's send you back to the sanctuary. Good girl. Mwah. Oh, you've been so amazingly brave. Incredible. I'm so pleased to be taking her home. I, I mean, I really didn't quite know how things were going to go. It was such a big step to go for this surgery, a huge step. I'm so excited that she's had all of this done and it's fingers crossed. Now we've got to give her all the aftercare that Scott has advised. So I'm, I'm very excited and very, very pleased. Um, really appreciate everything that Scott and all of his team have done for Janet. All right then, Liz, it's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege to do this. And oh, I really hope that she so continues to get better and um, yes. that I'll be able to come back and see her in all her glory oh, soon. That would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, take care. Great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you hugely. <laughs> all right, bye, Janet. Bye, Janet. Be a good girl. Bye, Jess. Bye, take <laughs> Thank care. Thank you. Be brave. <laughs> when we get Janet home, she's going to have a welcoming party, but nothing to make her too excited. <laughs> No fireworks. <laughs> I'll just have some balloons. <laughs> Everyone will be really pleased to see her, give her a kiss and a cuddle. It's good girls. And four weeks later, Scott drops in on a very special patient to find out whether a very harrowing surgery has paid off. Hello. Hello. How are you, gorgeous? You well? Come through. Thank you. Today I'm back to see Liz at the Cat Sanctuary to check out Janet and just see how she's going after that mammoth jaw surgery. It's the welcoming party. Yes, very welcoming. Hello, beautiful. So Janet's in here? Yes, this is the inner sanctuary. Wow, Janet's got her own room now. Yes, it's wow. supposed to be a cat-free zone. But, uh, <laughs> well, that's not are... working out very well, no, is it? No, it's not working. <laughs> And here's Janet. Hello, beautiful. 
Hello, gorgeous. How are you? How should we be going? Really amazingly good. I mean, oh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Really? A astounding. She looks yes. amazing. I mean, one of the biggest things I can notice straight away is that her tongue is now living pretty much in her mouth. Yes. Which is nice. And actually, it is usually more so than it is at the moment. And she's such a happy little thing, very bright, very sort of, you know, charging around. And she's actually biffing some of the other cats. I like had right. a little kangaroo. Getting a bit of spirit back. Playful and good. Really bright. Janet's been a really good patient, actually, surprisingly. I thought she might be a bit of a handful. <laughs> but no, she's been really good. She actually seemed to even enjoy the physio, really. So from the physio and everything else, she's actually now like eating proper food, is she? Yes, she is, yes. And she's washing herself, grooming. Wow. Um, just really active as well. She just is the picture of how she looks so beautiful. and. I can hear I think, that purr yes. from a mile away. Yeah, she looks beautiful. Oh, you're going <laughs> to give me a nibble. Never have I wanted to be bitten by a cat more. No, I know. This is <laughs> it, isn't it? You can't really complain. You just think, oh, that's good, no. that's good. I'm going to say it's a love bite. That's what I'm <laughs> going to say. Oh, yeah. It's always difficult when you do a major surgery like this to a cat that's been that way for a while. But now I can very happily say we've been successful. This is now a healthy, comfortable, happy cat who has a functional jaw. It's an amazing result. Oh, we've got Rosie joining us. Oh, look, she's oh, even no. biting Rosie. Oh, look. Come along, she says, you get out of it. <laughs> this is my time. And now, on reflection, oh, a worthy so journey. Oh, so absolutely, definitely. Oh, yeah, so no, good. I'm, I'm really happy for really you. Thrilled. Really happy for you, yeah, really happy fantastic. for her. Mm. And uh, I'm sure we'll... Uh, go on that journey with another cat oh, at, yes. at some point in the future. <laughs> we'll have a little queue for me. <laughs> <laughs> An orderly queue of over 200. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not all at once, guys. Not no, all at once. No. <laughs> <laughs>